Hello, friends. And welcome back to the kitchen. The kitchen! Hopefully the sound is better. We're testing out the new microphones! Yay! So you have to let us know if it's great or not. But, um, we're making eggnog creme brulee pie. Eggnog... I thought it was just eggnog brulee. Well, it's a creme brulee, but it's made out of eggnog okay. instead of Okay, creme. so my title is still correct. Eggnog brulee pie. Eggnog creme brulee pie. We're making things with eggnog. <laughs> and a blowtorch. And a blowtorch, because we love eggnog. Blowtorch. We, <laughs> we pre-microwaved everything so that we wouldn't kill stream with the microwave. So there is that. Um, <laughs> we also have... Don't forget they can hear you still. Okay. Uh, like I said, we have a new microphone system. So hopefully the sound quality is better. Oh, wait. Did I turn off the sound for the... It did. Hey, yo. Um, so the camera is not giving the sound anymore. It's instead two lavalier mics that I was able to get um, this weekend. Oh, is this a fresh open? <gasps> yeah. Open it over there! What are you doing? Uh, you okay. nerd! You nerd! <laughs> Show them that it's a brand new... Working is automatic! Fire! <laughs> We're gonna have fire! It is a brand new one! Because I don't know... I think my other one is in Zaf's car, which is at his mother's house. Uh, uh, that'll do. That or it's buried somewhere. Who knew? Fire equals fun. Right. Woohoo! It's gonna be interesting. <laughs> yeah, Fenrir will not like it. Oh? Oh. No, that's fair. It kind of sounds like a hot air balloon is inside your house. Oh, fun. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we, we managed to get some eggnog before the season was up. Woohoo! Um, and we want to turn it into this pie. We made eggnog pancakes last week? Yep. Yeah, eggnog pancakes. Those were delicious. Those are delicious. We got anybody? Just keep going. Keep going? Yeah. Okie dokie. We don't pause the show for an empty chat room. Who's, who's, who does that? So we're going to use a no roll pie crust from uh, King Arthur's baking because we're obsessed because it's fine i am obsessed yeah but also it's no roll and it's no chill huzzah we have no chill we have no chill yeah so first thing i need is two cups of king arthur's <laughs> unbleached all-purpose flour which you know is kind of the only flour you use uh yeah at this point one, two, all right. Oh, goodness. Here's our flour. All gone. All gone. There we go. Okay. And you said, I'm sorry, that you said that was how much? Uh, two cups. What happened? Uh oh. Wow. We had a little bit of a blip, but we're okay. Okay. No, uh, well. You know, it's never a good sign when it says that you're at 666 dropped frames. <laughs> then I need a half teaspoon of salt. <laughs> Please, Internet, behave. We even pre-microwaved, so this wouldn't happen. Exactly. And I need a teaspoon of sugar. And I use pure cane sugar because I find it cooks better. Is there much? I, mean, I guess there would be a taste difference. There are, dif too. there are minor differences. If it doesn't say cane sugar, then it's beet sugar. Right. And so the process that you use for cane sugar, oh, I need the sugar still. The process that you use for cane sugar versus beet sugar is different. And so they have a slightly different taste. And the cane sugar um, doesn't 
burn quite as much as the beet sugar. Gotcha, gotcha. So that is why I used cane sugar. And also because that's what grandma taught me. I mean, go by the classics. So a teaspoon of sugar, three eighths teaspoon of baking powder. So that's a quarter teaspoon plus half of that. Isn't that fun? <laughs> Math. Math. I'm not going to lie. I looked it up. There we go. This I am done with. Woohoo! Yeet! Yep! Now you are going to whisk that together. Okay. Then we're going to whisk together seven tablespoons of melted butter. Pre-melted in the microwave so we didn't kill stream. There we go. And a quarter cup. That's cold. Well, yeah, it has to be cold, right? Yep, has to be cold. So it was in the fridge. Quarter cup of cold water. And we're going to whisk this together. Which is interesting because it kind of made the butter go back into being slightly solid. That's whisk kind of cool. Hello, Madly. Go to me and yeah, whisk it real good. Hi, Madly. Okay, then going to stir with a fork, 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 fork. I know I forgot something. But if we have one. But I have one. Oops. So it's fine. Until the dough is evenly moistened. You be looking on and off your brother was nice and gave you his cold. Oh no! I'm That's so stinks. sorry, Madly. I'm so sorry. Well, you can you can vibe here with us. How is how is the sound quality on our microphones? If you don't mind me asking, because we're running new microphones today. And I was curious how they were doing. So this is the process for the crust. pie crust. It's a no roll, no roll pie crust. The first time I've tried this recipe. So, oh boy, oh boy. It could be there's like could be better. There's like static when you talk. That would be because we're missing our windscreens, um, and the windscreens are something that uh, I am in contact with the company about. They were supposed to come with. Um, I just need a little bit more, but I will keep that in mind. There's, there's some stuff I don't like about these microphones, but it was one of those, give it a shot. It wasn't that much. Eventually we'll spend $300 and get the nice microphones, but it's going to be a while till we can do that. So instead, uh, I got a rechargeable to go pair for like 21 with my affiliate coupon, so. I'll have to mess with it a little bit. Um, I gotta figure out how to really put these to use for us. Mm. I think between windscreens and uh, and some fiddling with settings, it will work. I thought I could put them both in separately I more water. to the um, OBS, but I could not, so. But that's not cold enough. There we go. 
So I added a little more water because I had a lot of dry. Sure, when you watch it back, you'll know what's happening. Yeah, probably. I'm an audio technician after all. It could just be really bad quality microphone. <laughs> and if that's the case, then they're going back. There you go. Um, the reviews I saw were all fairly good for these. So it could just be a case of never mind, send it back. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to What does it mean when it's a rolled crust versus a non-rolled crust? So the rolled crust... Um, you have to roll it out? You roll it out, and so what you're going to do is you're going to have to chill it for like 20 minutes, roll it out, put it in the pie pan. Chill it again. Chill it again. Yeah, and blind bake it. That means nothing in it. This, I should be able to just... Uh, put in the pan. And put in the pan. Well... What seems to be happening? Um, I just, I'm not, not enamored of this pie crust right now. Rolled cl crust is more complex. Yeah, that's what I figured, Madly. I actually find it easier. <laughs> well, it doesn't mean it's not easier. It's just complex. It's not mix the stuff together and stick it in a pan. Like, it, it has more steps. Yeah, it does have more steps. This is true. Yeah, I'm not digging this crust. Uh -oh. It's supposed to make for two pies, and I'm like not really seeing that, but we'll see. It might also just be I need to do a meek, meek. I don't know. I don't go here. You're like, I don't know. I'm the tech behind it. I'm just playing with food. I mean, basically. It's getting there. Along with my throne that keeps popping around, guys, you can now also change my username at the end of the throne link for Cupcake, Cupcake FT. Um, and Cupcake has a list. Your family always gets the pre-made crusts. That's not a thing in this house. No, no. Pre-made is not a thing that happens. Nah. The recipe for the pie does call for pre-made, but I said no. Cupcake refuses. I refuse. Yeah, it's starting to... Starting to do the thing. Yeah, it's starting to do the thing. Wee! Okay, I need to smooth this out. I love how many, um, so uh, we were looking at social media earlier, and I love how many, um, posts I keep getting in my requested messages for, we want to collab with you, and then I look at what they have, and for some reason they have pegged me as a dog person. <laughs> so it's all dog treats and things, and I'm like, okay, well, I know a dog or two, um, <laughs> I am not a dog person. They're like, I'm not... Pre-made is easier since you need a gluten-free option along with the normal crust. Oh, uh, what, huh? Uh, Madly's family, they have to have a gluten-free option. And so having pre-made makes things a little easier. Which okay. is totally valid. I mean, that's valid. That's valid. We are going to try to make a gluten-free crust. Yeah. Down the road. Just not today. But not today. In fact, we could have made this more vegan-friendly-ish, except for, you know, the fact that we're pouring eggnog in it. But, hello, Pyro! How's it going, dude? Mmm, pie. <laughs> Pretty much. Pyro on pie. How's it going, Pyro? Welcome in. This is, uh... The current situation with streaming is that I am in a daily treatment. And so I'm here with my friend, and we do baking instead. There we go. Um, we'll go back to a sort of normal schedule when this is over, but I will still be coming down here, um, on occasion, too. Yeah, you better. So, what's the plan? Because. I, I, but I would also like to game again. <laughs> yeah, I get that, but... 
We got to do it at least one day or I will be offended. Yeah, no, it'll probably be one day a week at minimum. You will never get brownies again. It'll sob into my brownie-less hands. <laughs> All right. So, so, so the hands that you see um, working right now is Cupcake. I'm mostly tech and behind the scenes. Peanut gallery. I'm the peanut gallery. All right. So it's not pretty. I don't care. It'll taste good. We're not here to make it pretty. We could have, like I said, we could have made it more vegan, but we were like, no, real butter. <laughs> no, real butter. All right. So. Yeah, I'm moral support. Listen, I got my brain hit with a magnet a bunch of times. This is about the best I got right now. <laughs> I let Cupcake do the cool things, and then I eat them. <laughs> Except it's not cool, because it's hot. Well, this one's going to be hot. It has fire. All right, so it's... I'm going to put this on. Put my oven on at 325. It doesn't have to be pretty. You're going to put stuff in it exactly badly. I'm putting delicious eggnog brulee in it. All right, now to my new stove. Yeah, you can glimpse the new stove too. <laughs> That's the last one caught on fire. Yeah. The wrong so, kind of fire. The wrong kind of fire. So, hey, it's Seth. Hello, honey. So the original recipe calls for cornstarch in this. I do not like the taste of cornstarch. It does have a taste. Yes. Contrary to popular belief. I do not like the taste of cornstarch. So what I use in my pies instead of cornstarch is tapioca. You can put that closer so they can actually... No, closer to... Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> tapioca. Yeah. They, they can see it all the way back there, but it makes it easier if it's closer to the camera. So I need four tablespoons of tapioca. We're playing with new microphones today, so if you guys can give us feedback. I know Madly said it's a little staticky when we talk. That might be a setting I need to fix. Finally finished in the lab. Nice, nice. Could that be my husband? Yeah. Woohoo! With a yawning emoji. <laughs> and then I need three-fourths of a cup of sugar. Sugar! Ah. Oh. For those who are Dylan Hollis fans. Ah. Fire! <laughs> I adore him so much. Yeah. Beating my sugar because it's got some lumps. I was like, they can't see any of that. Yeah, I know. That's why I was telling them what I was doing. Gotcha. Because they might hear it. Two. Three. All right. So, three fourths cup of sugar. That's one fourth cup. Come on. Let me make sure I got the right amount. Can help you? Put that away. Okay. And so I'm going to whisk together. Am I in the way for a whisk? Nope. No. I got to clean the whisk because I used the whisk. Oh, gotcha. I knew there was something I heard of. You only have one? I only have one. In this kitchen, you only have one whisk? I know. I'm going to have to get another whisk. I'm going to put that on my list. That feels like, like, I don't know, wrong. It feels wrong. Yeah. I'm going to have to put on another one on the list. Oh, I'm going to have to put kitchen shears. Extra duty kitchen shears. On the list? Yes. On the throne. Because my kitchen shears died last night. Listen, I think your kitchen is cursed for anybody except you. I mean. Because today, I lost my lunch down the garbage disposal. <laughs> They did. Quite literally. Uh, I was cooking, I was cooking it like ready to do noodles, possibly when moving. I'm not moving. So is it cupcake that's breaking up a little bit? Possibly when moving. Okay. Because we definitely have more range than what we're using right now, but. Um. 
but yeah, I so I went to cook one of my like pre-done or like little I don't know microwave ramens, and it tells you to like put the lid on it and pinch the corners and dump the water out. And so I did that. Except when I tipped it back up, the corners folded and slipped out of my fingers. <laughs> And next thing I know, my noodles are slowly slipping down the hole into the garbage disposal. <laughs> just little bit by little bit. It was like watching it in slow motion as my lunch just ran away from me. And so I've done that. Now I'm adding... Uh... Um, Zav said there are some red-handled shears in the drawer. Okay, I hate to do this. <gasps> Not the microwave! No! Oh, please, stream, don't die. Bless. I just <laughs> needed to get it enough that it was liquidy again. <laughs> I was about to cry if stream went down. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, stream. But yeah, so I, I hadn't put the seasoning in or anything, so I just have these loose packets of seasoning. <laughs> microwave! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The microwave killed the stream last time. Yeah. So we tried to pre-microwave everything. Yeah, but now it's all unmelted. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah, so I just have these sauce packets. I don't. I'm gonna have to make them with like plain noodles when I get. <laughs> and the eggnog, two and a quarter cups. I know that's it because I measured it out earlier. <laughs> In it goes. Mmm, eggnog. I told Cupcake that it's a shame that eggnog is a single season thing because I love eggnog. I can make it. But then Cupcake goes, I can make it. And I was like, well. But I'm almost worried that if I have it, access to it all year round, it won't be as special. You know what I mean? But the way I make it? Hey. Yeah. I still like that one that we bought this year. You got me hooked on a new brand. Oh, the Prairie Farms? No, I don't like the Prairie Farms. The, uh, the Southern Comfort? Southern Comfort. Yeah, Southern yeah. Comfort eggnog is so good. And that was uh, nutmeg that I put in there. Okay. So you cook and stir constantly until mixture thickens and becomes smooth and creamy. It should look like pudding. It says about five to seven minutes. Lots of whisking is about to happen. Not so kind. So if people want to ask me questions. Yeah, do you have questions? Now's the time to ask them. Um, we think we figured out what's wrong with the watercolor binder. So I'm going to be trying to fix that this week. Apparently it needs honey. Um, I left, unfortunately this morning, this morning was not, <sighs> this morning was a morning. That's, that's how I'm going to put that. It was a morning. And, um, I forgot the honey for my watercolor binder, which is here instead of at my house. I forgot my phone charger. I forgot my mask. I forgot something else. I don't remember. The base, the base to my iPhone, uh, my iPad charger. It's just been a morning of forgetfulness. And then I had like a, a overstimulated autistic meltdown a little earlier. That was fun. Loved that for me. And I got my brain zapped. And that was fun. And now you get to hear whisking. Yeah. Woohoo! do do your oven makes such cute noises now. I know, right? <laughs> Let's take the plastic $100 bottle of yeah, you know, maybe off of the oven. Maybe don't melt that. Yeah, madly, it was, it was kind of a morning. Oh, that's right. I forgot to put that in. Oh, well, maybe that's important. How could you forget the vanilla bean paste? I don't know. I'm gonna need more. My ASMR sister. whisking. <laughs> Right. Unfortunately, with the way these microphones work, 
I can't. I, I was hoping that they were separate so that when you were doing stuff like this, I could just like push button mute, but I can't. Uh -huh. And the way that they mute is not great because if you do it wrong, then you turn on reverb mode instead. I don't want any of that. Oh yeah, whisking and reverb. No, yeah. I'm good. <laughs> No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. But if I turn off the microphones, it turns off both of them. I can't choose. And I, I don't love that. I think that's one of the perks of the $300 set is that each mic comes in as a different source. Right. Instead of like these ones where both are off the same receiver. So I have unfortunately no control. Well, it's a good thing we didn't do this last week. Yeah. Yeah, my hands with my arthritis oh, would have been like this. Oh, no, yeah. That's fair. Question is, do you want to put a little alcohol in it? No. Okay. Cannot have that right now. Okay, dokie. Then no, it is. Normally, would not care all that much, but unfortunately, with treatment, I cannot. I've had to be careful about what foods I eat that have it cooked in, too. Yeah. Which really sucks. Smells good. It do, it do. What are you doing, puppy? He's just looking at me from the couch like, what is going on? He's a big upset. <laughs> Come on, stick it up. Also, is it starting to at it's all? It's starting to. No, it's starting to. Okay. It's supposed to get about the consistency of pudding. Well, we know how good I am at a judgment of consistency. Look at you, watercolor binder. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hi, Hi. Hi, how are you? We're friends now? Okay, bye. <laughs> Two seconds of here, let me be your friend to goodbye. No, thank you. Hi, welcome back. Hello, puppy. You're okay. You're okay. All right, bye. He's really not, not having it. I'm doing all the wrong things. It's fine. I'm trying to decide if I need to add a little more. One second, the music just went crazy. There we go. I'm trying to keep that not super loud for you guys, but where you can still hear it. Um, heads up also, if you are um, following my Ko-Fi at all, I'm going to be posting some things that are for monthly subscribers only. Um, I'm using it instead of Patreon now. So, um, if you want those exclusives, that's the place to subscribe. Um, I'm going to have a few things that are still open to one-time um, supporters as well. And then I, I, of course, still have public posts, but not as many. So, if you want cool new updates, that's the place to be. I wonder if I have the noise canceling on yours or not. Uh, can't remember if purple light is noise canceling or blue light is noise canceling. <laughs> or if blue light is reverb. Alright, I think I'm going to add just a tad more of tapioca. I thought for sure you were about to say vanilla bean paste and I was like, am I surprised? Not really. I'm running real low on the metal bean paste, so... Why is my mouse on my computer giant? Ah. Things have gone wonky. Like I said, this recipe calls for cornstarch, so I'm kind of guessing at how much... Tapioca. Tapioca. Yeah. No, that's fair. So we've added, you said nutmeg and cinnamon? Nutmeg and vanilla. Vanilla. And then we're making, to go on the top, we're making a cinnamon sugar butter 
to spread and on top, be and then once flame. it's cooked, then it'll be flambéed. Flambéed. My appetite's gotten crazy again. I'm trying to remember. It's such a weird whisk. What are you trying to remember? Yeah, I gotta. I'm gonna have to melt the butter again. No! Yeah. No, not the microwave. Let's see if. Did you just put it in there? No. Uh, oh, you're just holding it over it. I'm holding it over to see if I can melt the butter. That'd be fantastic so we don't have to kill stream. Because that messes with, I think, the YouTube recording, too. If I remember right. Lots of whisking. Lots of whisking. Oh, I need my water bottle. But guess what? I can walk in the other room and people can Oh, that's not me. working. Uh oh. But we don't want to go there. There we go. The microwave is big sad time. The microwave is big sad time. Unfortunately, I think we're going to have to do it. No. Yeah. I don't know if I like this new circle cartridge I'm using. All right. It's an interesting flavor. I don't know if I like it. Enjoy your lurk, Madly. What are you doing? I'm whisking it so it doesn't get overheated. Sorry, I needed to... I'm going to, I'll do that once I pour this in. All right, so I'm going to pour this in. Excuse me, the music is crazy again. Got to fix it though. All right. So it is in the pie crust now. It is in the pie crust. I see nothing for it. What? I, I'm gonna have to really melt the butter again. Wah. I know, right? We need to start setting up one of those um, candle melting things and just put the butter on that. <laughs> there you go. Candle warmer. All right. Um, but first, I'll get the sugar and the cinnamon all put together so that I don't take up the time to. Cupcakes got bowls within bowls within bowls. <laughs> within really bowls. Do. Okay. A third cup granulated sugar and a tablespoon of cinnamon. No, I took the third cup out. Good night. Quarter cup. Cup. Quarter cup. Um, I don't know. Oh, well, I need a third cup, so I will get a third cup because I don't have enough cups. We're gonna talk about the ones in the other drawer. I might have some measuring cups, maybe. I've learned to just not ask if Cupcake has something because nine times out of ten, the answer is duh. I went to the grocery store and they like double charged me for some chicken, uh, some chicken things. Chicken thing? They, yeah, they gave me two extra, or they charged me for two extra uh, apple and brie chicken breast thingamajiggers. Okay. 
And so I went and I said, hey, dude, I need my money back. And so I said, well, I'm just going to go through the whole thing. It's a he... tool, not a weapon. Oh, can you see it? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I was trying to do it off. It's a tool, not a weapon. It's fine. And he, uh, so he was double checking my, my, uh, receipt. And he goes, oh my God, they charged you for four butter. I said, he goes, you didn't get four butter. I said, oh yeah, I did. Oh yeah, I did. I said, you honey, I bake. Who I am. I'm like, I bake. Yes. The butter is accurate, my dude. The butter is accurate. Accurate. Alright. Imagine having to I can't imagine having to explain that to somebody. Oh it broke a curse! I told Dad, you, you cursed cursed me. Your kitchen is cursed. My kitchen is cursed today. This week. You have gremlins. Dang it! Those are my favorite. Ah. Yep. Not anymore. Not none, none, none more. I guess we'll have to put new ones on your list. <laughs> Zaf goes, no! Quick before he notices. <laughs> Hi, puppy. Hi, what's up? You're very confused. Is that the one you were looking for? No. Oh. Okay. Hi. <laughs> no, because that's a that's too small. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, big boy. All right, there we go. Third cup of sugar. What are you doing? What are you doing, cute boy? You're getting kisses. Kisses. And pets. I am not quite sure how the butter solidified. That quickly? That quickly, considering it is hot in this place. And a tablespoon of cinnamon. I'm just gonna eyeball it. There we go. That's good. Butt scratches. He wants butt scratches. Okay. He wants butt scratches. Well, Incoming ad. Good. Heads up, friends. I'm so sorry. I'll give the boy lots of butt scratches for those who will miss the next minute or so. The dog. Yeah, the dog. <laughs> I didn't know if that would be. The butt scratches. Yeah. He's such a good boy. He's a good boy. <sighs> There's a mill tank in chat if anybody needs one. <laughs> There's what? Uh, it's a Pokemon called Miltank. It is a uh, cow. Um, and it is waving its udders at chat. <laughs> God. All right. What's the best way for me to do this and get it thoroughly melted? We were, we were okay for 10 seconds, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, I think so. And I didn't notice any eight, uh, freak eight, out when we did it last six. time. Maybe because you're not right in front of it. I'm still right in front of it, technically, between it and the router. And it seems to do okay, though. Okay, I gotta do five, ten more. It should be okay. We're not losing more drop frames than we had previously, so. I heard a pop. You know what that means? It's hot. It's hot. All right, so now, uh, now it freaks out. Oh no. Thank you, OBS. Okay, so. The, the microwaves just had to get to the computer. Yep, there we go. We lost for like a couple seconds. Come on. Yeah. You're still, you're still going, buddy. It's okay. Okay, so pour the melted butter over the pie filling and sprinkle the cinnamon sugar literally on top. Liberally. Liberally. And literally. Liberally, literally, whatever. Both. <laughs> Seems counterintuitive to me, but... I don't know. I don't know. I'm just doing what they said to do. So... We're following a recipe. All right. There we go. Sort of. There we go. No, I mean, for the most part. There goes the cinnamon sugar. Cinnamon sugar. Ah! Well, they did say liberally. Right? The act of flambéing is literally lighting it on fire, is it not? Yes, it is. Oh, that's exciting. I think the last thing I lit on fire uh, intentionally, food-wise, 
was a drink at a place I used to work at. Oh, that's cool. Um, I did a Saganaki here. Um, and luckily we had, because Saganaki is melted cheese with, we got nothing. Hold on. Okay. We drop, drop stream. We good? Ooh. Huh. I'm just watching numbers. We should be okay now. Okay. Yeah, but Saganaki is melted cheese um, that you lightly flour after you have soaked it in, I want to say burr. Oh, no, ouzo. Ouzo? Yeah. Jeff said what drink? I think it was pretty sure it was ouzo. And, oh, for you, that, what drink was for you? Huh? What drink was for you? What drink did you set on fire? Oh! Oh, I used I used to work on a Japanese. I'm so sorry, my brain. That's what I hit with a magnet. Um, I used to work at a Japanese hibachi place, um, and they had one there that was called like the volcano. And the middle of the drink, they'd put. Um, now I don't remember what was rum. It, it might have been rum. Vodka. Ah. <sighs> That's says brandy. Maybe brandy. I don't oh, remember. Oh, no. Brandy is for me, I think. I, I use know. brandy in the Saganaki. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know. My brain's not working. But okay. so it was in this really special cup. Um, these cups were so expensive. But you'd light the middle on fire. And there was a drink at the base of the, the volcano that would have two straws in it. It was served as a two-person drink. I think it was fruity of some kind. I don't know. I wasn't old enough um, and had no desire to. What's up? So, just in case, catch drips. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you've had that drink? Yeah. It's, I think it's fruity. Um, I learned a little bit of bartending while I was working there, which was really ironic because, you know, I don't really partake most of the time. Um, usually when I have stuff, it's cooked in food. Um, okay, there we go. There she is! And it goes into the oven. Now, how long is it going in for? I'm going to look. I want to say 20 to 25 minutes. Cool, so we can <laughs> vibe. Oven light on. Is there something else we needed to make? Um, we never did get the manta ray sugar sugar cookies done. Um, bum, bum, bum. I can't remember if we had something. Twenty five minutes. Uh, timer. Yeah, I can't remember if we had something else we were doing, too. Well, we're making the turkey tonight, but that's... That's a Zaff problem. <laughs> if I have to touch the turkey, there will not be a fun mess to clean up. <laughs> Cupcake remember House of Chin in college? House of Chin. Oh, yes. Are you talking the drink? I would assume so. There was a parenthesis, I think, <laughs> after the House of Chin. Yes. I remember the drink. I don't remember if it was House of Chin, but I remember the drink. So the thing about Saganaki is you cook it, and then you pour the brandy on it, and then you light the brandy on fire. Mm. And luckily, we decided to use a small table down... Mm. Really low because it went. Oh, yeah. So. Zaf sent a turkey emoji. Yeah, you get to you get to deal with that. Um, I regaled cupcake with my dislike of um, touching bird bones. I have this weird. Um, I can eat chicken drumsticks and turkey drumsticks because I know where the bones are. 
if I'm eating a piece and I'm unfamiliar with where the bones are and my teeth brush against the bone, I cannot finish that piece. Like, I have to put it down. I cannot finish okay, it. Okay, then. I don't know what it is, and I don't know where the problem came from, but we <laughs> we tried to make a turkey when um, Ruby and I first moved in together, and uh, I, I'd i never been the one to prepare a turkey. Like, it was always my grandma if you yeah. get it. And one time we got a turkey and Ruby was like, hey, let's make this. And I was like, cool, that, that, cool with me. And we started the prep process. And that's when I found out that you have to reach inside. Yeah. Of the turkey oh, yeah, no. To pull things out. The gizzards in the next. Yeah, no. Nope. And um, that's when I almost lost my breakfast <laughs> while preparing my dinner. <laughs> yeah. So saw concrete Barbie there, only punk band with a trumpet I've ever seen. <laughs> But yeah, so making turkey is not my thing. So Where are you going, sir? Hey, Fender, come here. So Zaf, when I'm done with this, should I put the turkey in and at what temperature? Oh yeah. And can I just throw it in as is? As is. I really like having these mics so we don't have to like scream. Yeah. So much nicer. Twenty-two minutes. Twenty-two minutes. And then we fire up the but we didn't have anything else we needed to make, right? Because so. literally the only other thing I could think of was that we didn't finish the sugar cookies. Because that batch turned out wonky. Yeah, and that batch and the, the stuff we ended up throwing it out because... Yeah. I mean, we can make more sugar cookies today if you want. I mean, I'm always down for sugar cookies. We could also do that a different day, too. Yeah. I just didn't know if we had something to work on in between or if we were just going to vibe. I think we're just going to vibe because I'm hot in this kitchen. No, that's fair. I'm like, that is fair. Just wait until tonight when it gets I down to the 20s. Zaf says, I think it's okay. I'll check. Okay, thank you. So I guess we don't touch it currently. <laughs> Um, let's see. Yeah, Zap is our turkey person in the house. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna look up something real quick. Mm -hmm. Um. We have. 50 baking quiz questions. We do, do we? <laughs> uh oh, who sent that? Uh, it's something that I found a while ago. All right, let's try it. Right, 60 baking questions. Um, so, in the easy baking trivia questions, uh, oh, this supposedly has the answers too, but I don't see the answers. And at the bottom? Hold on. I gotta make sure there's answers, otherwise this isn't gonna go well. Oh wow, this is an intense quiz! Hold on! Where are the answers? <laughs> Taking the torch works. The torch works! Okay. Fender does not like the torch. He's not a fan. Okay. There's no answers. Table of contents. Where's the answers, friend? Let's try to- Oh, there it is. Okay, okay. All right, go for it. Okay, so, um, the first question is, what country does Black Forest Gateau come from? Gateau? Gateau? Are they talking Black Forest Kirschtorte? Or are they- Because that would be Germany. G-A-T-E- Yeah, I know, I know, Gateau. I'm- I'm going to say this because, is the easy section. Well, I'm going to say because Black Forest, I'm going to say Germany. Germany. Okay. Let me see if I can find the answer because it's also here. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. Germany. What grain is flour usually made from? Wheat. Yeah. Um, what does in au chocolate mean? Pan a chocolate. Uh, pan, yeah, it's uh, I want to say pan of chocolate or bread of chocolate, chocolate bread. Yeah, yeah. Chocolate, chocolate bread. bread. Yeah. What time of year are hot cross buns traditionally eaten? Easter time. Yep. Which I don't think I've ever had. Uh, neither have I. Uh, it's not a thing that we ever did. 
Naan, pita bread, and chapati are all types of what? Naan, pita bread, and chapati. I think they're talking unleavened bread. Close to the answer they're looking for? I'm not quite sure. Flat. Flat. Yeah, okay, flat so bread. unleavened. Yeah. yeah. Um, what two ingredients typically sit between two layers of a Victoria sponge cake? Oh. <laughs> uh, I want to say it is a custard and a fruit filling. Yeah, jam and cream. Yeah, jam yeah. and cream. What type of nut is used in the making of marzipan? That is... <laughs> oh, dang it! <laughs> um, almond. Yeah. These half goes flatbreads. <laughs> mm -hmm. What flat flavor is devil's food cake? Devil's food cake. It's chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Which utensils would you use for whipping eggs or cream? I would use a whisk or my a whisk. <laughs> or, my, <laughs> just wants whisk. or my or my mixer with a whisk <laughs> attachment. The easy section. It's fine. <laughs> What famous pastry is named after its crescent style shape? Croissant. 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 Um, okay. So <laughs> oh, why couldn't you have all of them in one? Okay, hold on. This one's a multiple choice. Okay. But the answer section only gives you, of course, the answer. Right. So I gotta scroll back and forth. Okay. Multiple choice. Which of these is not a standard ingredient of sponge cake? Okay. Flour, milk, yeast, butter. I'm going to go with yeast. <laughs> I could go for yeast. I hate this website. Why did they do it this way? Yes, you are correct. Yeah. Yeast. Um, okay. Next. I had this and I didn't know it was this awful. Okay, who were the original judges of the Great British Bake Off? Oh. Is this one you would even know? I might. Okay, so the first option is Paul Hollywood and Delia Smith. The second is Paul Hollywood and Mary Berry. The third is Noel Fielding and Prue Leaf. And the fourth is Sue Perkins and Mel Gaydrock. I want to say that it's Paul and Mary Berry. It is. Okay. <laughs> it is. You're exactly. There you go. What baking technique can be described as allowing yeast dough to rise before baking? Proofing. I say proving, processing, leaving, or laminating. Yeah. So proving. What's the difference between a regular and a New York cheesecake? One, New York cheesecake is baked. Two, New York cheesecake uses heavier cream. Three, New York cheesecake is suitable for vegans. Or four, New York cheesecake is strawberry flavored. I think the New York cheesecake is not flavored. So it's not strawberry. So flavored. I don't think it's strawberry. What were the other three? Um, that it's baked, uses heavier cream, or is suitable for vegans. I want to say uses heavier cream. Let me see. I'm actually like, I didn't look this one at this one before. <laughs> I think you're right. Yeah, it uses a heavier cream. That's what I thought. Um, okay. You know what? I'm just going to go through these multiple choice. We Americans say proofing. Yeah, it's F. There, there must be a big delay. Um, I'm just going to go through the multiple choice and let you just answer. Um, <laughs> because scrolling back and forth is a nightmare. What kind of pastry is a classic eclair made from? Puff pastry. They're, they're looking for another word. Oh, um, pate choux? Mm -mm. No, what are they? Show? Show. Show, show pastry. Pate choux. Yeah. 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 Okay. How long was the longest ever cake according to the Guinness Book of World Records? Oh, that I have no bloody clue. 
Apparently the answer is 5,300 meters. Okay, then. I can't translate that into American. <laughs> I, I can't translate that into cake. Yeah. Which English um, county does the pastry, pa pasty come from? Pasty. Excuse me. Dyslexia. Corn hated Cornwall. That. Cornwall, yeah. What does uh, French mille mean in English? Can I look at it? No, I won't, look, I won't look at the it's answer. It's literally right above it. Like, it's... it's. Mille fuille. Oh, Lord, fuille. I don't know. I need my son to help me with that one. He's um, a thousand layers. Okay. So it's one of those, like, shoot It's one of those, layer. yeah. Um, in what decade was sliced bread first sold? Oh. I can tell you where it first came from. Yeah, that's not the answer they're looking for. Because <laughs> uh, it came from Chillicothe, Missouri, and they have the Sliced Bread Museum. And it was, I want to say, in the 1900s. Plus. So, 20s. Okay, so very close. Yeah, 1920s. I well, you said century, right? Decade. Decade. Oh, decade. Yeah, Sorry. they were running decade. Okay. Uh, this one I have to actually do multiple choice because it's one of those. Uh, which of these? Where is that? Mm -hmm. Which of these cakes almost always contains fruit? Upside down cake, methanic, pound cake, or genoise sponge? I'm going to say the upside down cake. Yeah, that's yeah. the upside down cake. Uh, Genoa sponge. Genoa. <laughs> I don't know. Ah. I don't go here. Okay. Um, so these are all true or false. Okay. The brand Mr. Kipling was named after Rudyard Kipling, the author of Jungle Book. Pure guess I'm going to say true. False. False. Okay. I don't know who it was named after. <laughs> <laughs> A whole loaf of bread was preserved for nearly 2,000 years by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in Pompeii. I'm going to say true. True. Yeah, and they actually had it on the di on yeah. display for a while. Gingerbread was first eaten by ancient Greeks who used it for ceremonial purposes. That's it true. False. False. It was ancient Egyptians. Ah, okay. They used it for ceremony. Okay. Mince pies contain minced beef. No. Nope. False. They're filled with fruit and spices. Fruit and spices. <laughs> Before the invention of the eraser, bread was used to erase graphite markings. True. True. Mm-hmm. I remember that from somewhere. Yeah, it's like one of those random things I've heard somewhere, and I'm like, <laughs> oh yeah. With few ingredients to go around, people made water pie during the Great Depression. Yes. True. Yeast causes dough to rise because it releases oxygen when combined with sugar. Now it forms protein strands. So I'm going to say false. False, but not for that reason. Okay. It releases carbon dioxide. Ah, carbon dioxide. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, Zap's probably like, ah! <laughs> mm -hmm. Love you too. I knew it wasn't. Anyway. Yeah, no, you got the false bait, but it was for a different reason. Yeah. Zaf says he can make the Pompeii bread. <laughs> cool. We should do that. <laughs> um, the Guinness World Record for the longest baking marathon is 31 hours and 16 minutes. That seems short. I'm going to say false. True. True. Apparently, that is the longest baking marathon. Okay. Yeah, here we got the Zaf. No, CO2! For the, <laughs> the yeast causing dough to rise. There's a little bit of a delay. That's okay. Um, 
I've gotten what three or four wrong. Just a couple, yeah. yeah. Bagels are boiled before they go in the oven. Yes. Um, pears are often used as a substitute for eggs in vegan baking recipes. No. No. But what is? Applesauce can be used. They're looking for banana for They're egg. For banana? Yeah. Okay. Apparently banana is a good substitute for egg when it comes to vegan stuff. Um, medium baking trivia. Okay. What distinctive ingredient do baklava and medovic have in common? I'm going to say honey. <laughs> yeah, honey. Mm -hmm. I love baklava. So much. Baklava. baklava. What popular British treat was officially declared a cake by a tribunal in 1991? Ooh. <laughs> a trifle. Mm, what? Jaffa cakes. Okay. <laughs> not one that i had heard of but mm, i've heard of them but okay uh in what city did the baker rafael esposito make the world's first pizza naples <laughs> yeah <laughs> this one's too easy what which celebrity bakes in the cake boss in the uh, in the American Baking Reality Show, Cake Boss. Oh, it's, name? um, 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 um. Okay, I thought it was easy. <laughs> it's not Duff, it's the other one. Yeah. It's, how? Brain fart. I know who it is. <laughs> I know who it is. Buddy. Buddy, Buddy Velastro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, on your way home. All right, Zeph, see you in a bit. In a millionaire shortbread, what two ingredients sit on top of the biscuit base? No clue. Chocolate and caramel. Okay. That might be one we need to They might be make. one we need to make, yeah. What country do Danish pastries actually come from? Holland? Austria. Austria. Oh, okay. Yeah. What gives Muscovado sugar its dark brown color? Oh no, hi Joyful! We're giving cupcake baking trivia while the... Molasses. Yes. While the eggnog brulee pie is in the oven. What is the most eaten type of cookie in the United States? Oreo. Chocolate chip? Chocolate chip. Okay. <laughs> what two ingredients are combined through the rubbing in technique? What two ingredients? The rubbing in. <laughs> We're also using our new microphones, um, Joy. I want to say meat and a dry rub. What is it? Fat and flour. Fat and flour. Yeah. Yep. Duh. What type of alcohol is traditionally poured on a British Christmas pudding? Brandy? Brandy. Brandy. Yeah. You can tell there's less popping. Cool, cool. I know that somebody mentioned some static, um, but we'll see how that turns out. And now the hard question. <laughs> okay. The Russian Napoleon cake is very similar to which French baked good? Hmm. That weird thousand layer. Oh, okay. Yeah. The, the meal fui? Yeah. Found out your compensation increase. So apparently you're only going to be making 4% less after March. That's not so bad. In which decade did American inventor Rufus Eastman patent the electric mixer? In which decade? Yes. These are hard. <laughs> These are hard. <laughs> but interesting. I'm going to go with the late 1800s. 1880s. I'll give it to you on that one. <laughs> what country produces around 45% of the world's sugar? What country? Mm 
<laughs> oh no, Chef. <laughs> oh great, Chef's on. Yeah. <laughs> does, does Chef know? <laughs> the, the question on the trivia we're doing right now is what country produces around 45% of the world's sugar? Cuba? No. Mm -mm. Oh. Brazil. 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 My guess is once upon a time it used to be the country of Hawaii. Probably, yeah. Um, what kind of meat is traditionally included in kimanan? Don't know. Lamb. 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 Okay. I have no idea what this is. Okay. Name one country in which you might be served mesmen with honey and mint tea for breakfast. Um, how to spell the M S E M E N M S E M E N India. Mm -mm. No. Um, the three countries are Algeria, Morocco, or okay, so Tanzania. It's, it's African, not yeah. Okay. There are two types of Belgian waffles, both named after cities in Belgium. What are two types of Belgian waffles named after cities in Belgium? Antwerp? No. I don't know. We have Brussels waffles and Liege waffles? L-O-G-E. L-I-E with the thing G-E. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. yeah, I think that's as close. Boss was so angry about what they're willing to give me. It told me to actively think about leaving. So there's that. Dimitri was unhinged today. Oh, no. What should you traditionally do with the top tier of a wedding cake? Freeze it for your one year anniversary. Yeah, we did that. It was disgusting. Yeah, we didn't do it because why do that to good cake? Yeah. Um, what month is International Cake Day celebrated? June. <laughs> no. <laughs> November? November. Oh. Like, why? My birth month. Okay. Yeah, okay, so your birth month is cake that, day. that makes sense. Yeah. What is the chemical name for baking soda? And of course, Bath is now driving. Oh. Uh, bicarbonate soda. Sodium bicarbonate. Sodium bicarbonate. Yeah. Okay. What is the meaning of the da... Mm. Okay, no, I know how to say this, actually. <laughs> the meaning of the Dutch word, um, kokje, which has given us the word cookie. But it does not mean cookie. Biscuit. Not quite. Little cake. Little cake, okay. <sighs> I'm not going to do that one because I don't... Oh, that was all of them. The next one was like, look at a picture and name what it is well, but see. it's well i've already backed out of it now because nah. the answers i don't like scroll like the scrolling on this was weird what, what was the picture of like 12 different things uh um yeah, no. just in time five four three two it's gonna do some musical thing <laughs> we're mocking it and it's getting mad about it all right, we're gonna hit cancel. I need new oven mitts. Um, also, a reminder, guys, I have a throne wish list, but if you take my username off the end of throne and put cupcake ft, cupcake also has a wish list now. Oh, that did not set at all. Oh, no. Either that or it's the butter on top. Oh, maybe the butter on top. Maybe the butter on top. Okay. Okay, hands do not cramp. Don't. Don't, don't, don't cramp. Don't do it. Genius me. There was a little bit of spillage. Hey. Uh, now comes the fun part. Can people see? Um, yes, but not super well. Hold on. Let me. Yeah, I'll let you shift a little. Good. Switch places. Hi, you get to see me for a sec. Because we are going to do the fun stuff. How much cable do I have? Not much. Okay, I can see the full pie. Whoa! Right. Going for a ride. I can see the pie. Okay, but I... We're stuck on something. <sighs> okay. 
One second. What We're like stuck. <laughs> stuck. I don't know. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, glad nobody's toe was over there. Yeah, it's just a spatula. Okay, so did we get... Am I... Oh yeah, I can see the full thing. Alright, All right. ready. And the fun begins! And the fun begins! Again, Twitch, this is a tool, not a weapon. This is a tool, not a weapon. Ooh. It smells amazing in here. <laughs> like, it smells so good. I've never actually had something that's been brulee. Zombie. Oh, now it smells a little burnt. All right. So we'll see how that does. We'll see how that does. And now we just got to let it cool. Well, some of the crust got a little singed. Oh, did it? Okay. Yeah. It was crust then. It was I'm crust. not worried about the crust. I'm worried about the inside. So it says we should let this cool for how long? Probably a while. Cool the pie completely at room temperature before for refrigerating for at least an hour to set. So I don't get to have pie till tomorrow. Uh, we'll let it cool down. We might have to cheat. Now I want sweets. <laughs> now you want sweets. I mean, when when Zeph gets home, once we uh handle the freaking turkey, we could maybe make. I don't know. Are we leaving stream on that long? I don't know. We can. I've done longer streams. I've literally done 12 hour streams. It does not bother me one bit. Who is this? Who is who? I don't know. Uh, Mike. There we go. <laughs> I can't, I can't reach up and mute these. Okay, there we go. So, hello friends. Oh. Wrong number. That was fast. Wrong number. I am not Tim. No. Oh no, Covered Keeper's talking about the Sims challenge that I'm not doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... What else do we have planned this week for baking? I don't know. Oh, oh wait, wait, Chef and Joy are here. I have to tell them the good news. And Madly is here somewhere. Um, y'all, I have good news about TMS. That, oh, yeah. that I found out today. So I will wait until you guys are uh, here and excited to hear about it because it's a big deal. And I think we're going to do something about it at some point. Um, I do want to make sugar cookies this week because we got that sugar cookie cutter from my mom. Um, So I want to do that, but I also need to check the best the baker stuff and see what we have. You guys need to submit. You need to put Dutch baby on the list. Do it. Do it now. Um. So, Chef Joy, madly, if you are still here, and anyone else who is listening in. Um. So, every five appointments, they make me fill out a survey. Um, the survey is not very conductive to my wonderful autistic brain that takes everything logically. But today, my TMS care team told me that in five treatments, hello Artemis, in five treatments, my score went from 18 to 6. The lower the number, the better. Don't touch that, it's very hot. So... I basically had a 66% improvement yeah. in five treatments. Oh. Yeah, we went from an 18 to a 6. Zaf's here! Is that like an arbitrary score number? They put, so it's like 0 through 5, and you have to circle which one you're feeling like it goes along with. Unfortunately, the way that the, the, they quantify things, they don't have... 
things have improved. It's just it sucks, and then it's like, oh, it's Hang on, normal. Um, worried that you're gonna hurt your hand. Bump that so progress. yeah, so I've seen a significant Im increase. We are not remapping because um, they don't want to mess with what's working. I turned off the and. Uh, Oh, now you're going to see a little bit of zap. Put, put the turkey right where the pie crust was so that they could see the turkey. Turkey! But not touching the pie. <laughs> no, I moved the pie. Cool. <laughs> uh, what do we got to do with the I don't know. What do you got to do with the turkey? Um, so, yeah, what I'm thinking about doing is doing it like a big celebration when treatment's over because, let's be real, it's clearly working. Yeah. I'm very happy about that. So you want to tell the people what you did with the turkey? Uh, sure. Um, I spatchcock it. Oh yeah, you'll need one of us to... Here. Cool. Uh, we're, we're mice now. I see that. It's great. Except for the static. There you go. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, um, this is a spatchcock turkey where I have cut it, the, cut the backbone out, and then broke the, broken the, uh, Breastbone and there's a reason Zaps in charge of the turkey because I could never. And the reason why one does this, I should have done it this way, is it. Uh... Oh, OBS, please don't disconnect. Ow. Ow. Hey, OBS, reconnect. <laughs> Chef said, ooh, Spatchcock. <laughs> <laughs> I said that to, to Z. I was like, yeah, Zaf did something to a turkey. And Z was like, well, what? And I was like, I think the word is Spatchcock. And Z was like, I have no idea what that means. Hey, Chef, you got any uh, ideas for kitchen shears that won't do what the other ones did? Yeah, but still. First, gotta find the other. Oh, here's the other half. Because the handles broke on my other kitchen shoes. The kitchen is cursed right now. Yeah. That's all there is to Perfect. it. Perfect. Did you see a broke? One of my measuring cups broke. Did you, how do you break a measuring cup? Hey, Dipping it in sugar? Yeah, the handle <laughs> broke off. Like, what the heck? She dipped it in sugar and we heard snap. And it was like, oh, well, okay. Uh, what you need? I don't know. <laughs> I can't. I can't help with that. I don't know how to produce. I don't know. I was intending to. What was I intending to do? I was intending to um, rub this turkey down. Okay. With. Well, if you go by the Babbit, the, the binging with Babish, he says bacon grease. Ooh. and um, herbs, whatever herbs you like. Or we could just go Sir. oil, since that's more... I mean, we have bacon grease. I don't know. No, sir. Sorry, Fenrir. You can't have. Um. No. Oh, you might want to turn the oven on. Oh, yeah. Uh, that was the other thing I was going to try to figure out. I... <laughs> Like, I'm so worried about how close the pie is to this raw bird. Um, the bird's all tucked in. Yeah, but yeah. I just think if we could move it out of yeah, his I think way. that's not unreasonable. Yeah. All right, well. I'll how hot it. is the pie? And... The, hot, the pie is hot. Set it on uh, one of the... Here, if you get underneath in that bottom drawer, that... on the very right on the top, there's those screeny things. A, um, a, a cooling pot, a cooling rack. One of these? Yes. Yeah. There we go. Bingo, bingo. Now we can put it nearly anywhere. Nearly anywhere. Just, uh, just for comfort's sake. No, that's that's a, that's a really good <laughs> point. That's Splashes there. and things happen, and yeah. Do happen. I guess I could change the title of stream now that we've moved on to Turkey. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Please, fast packed with. All right, back to all right. Temperature. Temperature. Yeah. I'll figure out the temperature. Oh, 
I'm gonna pseudo clean up my area. We use my brand new torch. We'll see if Twitch gets mad about this title. I mean, it's a I... valid thing. One, it's a totally valid thing. But Twitch is also twitchy. Twitch is twitchy. Twitch is twitchy. Right. Twitch is twitchy. So it says 450 for 45 minutes. That's honestly not that long. No, well that's one of the advantages. Are you digging are you digging out uh, no, no, but I can. What do you want me to get? If you want to dig out bacon grease. Bacon grease. Okay. And I want the bacon grease. I would be right here. In a bowl combined butter, bacon fat, finely chopped rosemary and thyme. <laughs> Hashtag spatchcock is not against oh. TOS. All right. <laughs> Now we've got this butter. Is this that butter sounding good? Or helpful? Is that the butter you made. This looks like the butter I made. Butter. Butter that's half made. Woo. Yeah. Uh, I was. What was I trying to do? I forget. There was something. Isn't it? No. Oh, no, I was trying butter. to make. I was trying to make cultured butter. Yeah. What is cultured butter? It's where you ferment it for a little while. Oh. So there's the baking grease. There is always a science experiment going on in this house. There is. <laughs> um, do we want herb provincial or do we want just the regular sage or what? Uh, 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 what did you say, Brad? Uh, Zach? I don't care. What the, the, whatever one wants. What is the end? I kind of want to go neutral because we're going to, what we don't eat, we're going to use. That is a good point. So, do we just want to do salt and pepper and the, the butter and the bacon grease? That is fine. That's what you'd like to do. I bet right. the bacon grease tastes good with it. Right. I'm excited. But please, for the love of all things good, don't give me weird bones. <laughs> I would like to actually consume. All right, so we'll uh, make some nice slices for you yeah. for 50. And Start. then we'll slice and dice and bag and then we'll have. I'll get uh, I'll get mom's recipe for those bundles. Yeah, get your mom's recipe for bundles. Because those are always a favorite. Actually, I might have. Do I have it Can right you here? See the turkey. Um, uh, no, but it's okay. But what what where do you need me to put things? Uh, your butt just has to go to the right a little bit. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> All right, so right now I'm... <laughs> now we can see everything. <laughs> uh, okay. Is that good or bad? Uh, it's good. It means we can see the turkey, we can see the pan, we can see the butter and the pie. All right. All of it. I'm going to put about, I don't know, yay much. What is that? I don't know. Quarter cup of supposedly... Cultured butter. Cultured butter. And then about the same amount. He has washed his hands. Like three times since I got home. Yeah. Of bacon fat, which got, looks like it has pepper in it. Um, My mom says her turkey bundles are one block of cream cheese melted, a stick of butter melted, chives, and... I swear there's something else. Here it is. I'll just text this to you. Here's the whole recipe. Okay. What are turkey bundles? Um, so this tradition that we do at my parents' house when they make turkey or chicken or anything that we have a lot of excess meat, um, we make... Uh, they're technically chicken bundles, but we have adapted them for turkey. Uh -huh. And you take like um, the crescent, quick crescent rolls, which I mean, this is this household. I doubt that's what we're going to do. Yeah, but, maybe. Um, you take them and instead of dividing them into the, di the diamond shape or like the triangle shape, you pinch that together and make a square. And then you fill it with a mixture of cream cheese, margarine, um, chicken or turkey, salt, pepper, milk, chopped chives or onion, and pimento if desired. Mix that all together, put it in the middle, and then bundle it. And then you t put, take Ritz crackers and crumble them on top and bake those. 
And we mm. usually bake big batches of those because then you can freeze some of them and then just reheat them in the microwave. That's uh, definitely worth a shot. They're delicious. It's something we always make when we have turkey. So I'm not putting anything in here. But... That's just salt and pepper. Quit spilling your water. You nerd. <laughs> I can send that recipe to anybody who's interested in it here in the cupboard um, because honestly, it's just one that we, it uses up a lot of the excess meat so you're not wasting it. I guess the recipe calls for croutons, but we use Ritz crackers. What's the matter? What's the matter? Well, we can make our own croutons because we can have bread made. Zap made bread. Zap didn't take him. No, I didn't. Did not. I broke the pattern. Broke pattern, and he is stressed about it. He's very stressed. He's like, John didn't take me. <laughs> do, do I need to do that? Can you? Or do you Alex? want to do that, Cupcake? Yeah, hang on. Sorry. Sorry. I, was... I did it again. You did it You'll get the hang of it. I was going through, I was adding stuff to the wish list, like kitchen. <laughs> and next is going to be another whisk. Yeah, we've discovered there's only one. Yes. And that is a travesty in this kitchen, considering how many of everything you usually have. But I have two um, whisk attachments for each. I have a whisk attachment for each of my mixers. Yes. But I'm just looking at the number of these you have sitting around. <laughs> what is that? The number of spatulas compared to whisks in this house. Um, it's kind of crazy. Something is wrong. Um, <laughs> you're not going to get an argument from me. <laughs> Some of the spatulas were presents. And there he goes, Borkin. <laughs> hey, I'm done. Come here. Oh, chaos. That is what happens. He is the uh, bringer of pain and chaos. He, uh, he has to announce his presence when he goes outside. <laughs> okay, go, go hide outside. And chase everything away. And, and scare everything. Literally everything. Well, thank you. Bless you. Bless you. You want to hide outside. He's, He's like, I know. Reporting. Yeah. If he doesn't, if he doesn't go, he leaves, uh, he goes past the tea box. But if he goes outside, then he sits down next to the tea box and is like, Gib, give me the things. He also can kind of spell, so. Right. <laughs> that was so funny. Oh, yeah. It's not working the way I really want to. Uh-oh. Well, not a big deal. We usually do the whole like bag and juice method, um, but also I've never spatchcocked a turkey before, so we've had good luck with this. Yeah, I've done it what three times now. Maybe? We usually do the regretful thing of putting the whole bird in as is, uh, with a bag of literally just like four things of butter and tying the bag and letting it like marinate. It makes a very uh, moist bird. Bird is the word. I knew that was going to come up at some point. I really did. I, I tried my damnedest not to. I was really trying not to. Uh, I don't want a mini tool set. I want a whisk. That's the whisk. Um, as I was mentioning to people earlier, if you are not following me on Ko-Fi, you should be, because that is where I'm going to be announcing a lot of the upcoming product development I'm working on. Oh. Right, whatever. Oh. We're going with it. Is it windy? Like, did it just kick up real bad? Oh, it did. That's why he's freaking out. Is there something in here? A uh, silicone pad. Maybe you should take that out with some drip. <laughs> Sir. I will. Sorry, I forgot about that. <laughs> Alright. That is a lovely looking bird there, Zach. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Wish I would have thought of this. Yeah. My bad. 
Oh, uh, yeah, the drippage was burning. That's what it was. Yeah. Oh, boy. Better oh. open the windows. Now that that sound nightmare is done. <laughs> Bye, bad. Hey, I got the mics muted. It's fine. Yeah, good. No one heard it except us. Oh, and, boy. And maybe the neighborhood. You're okay, Fender. Fender's it's like, okay. Oh. It's okay, Poppy. Come here. He goes, I came back in from doing the thing outside and all head buckles. It's okay, it's okay Fender. It's okay. Here. You're okay, Bubby. It's okay. Bubby tastes like bacon grease and butter. He's like, I don't want that. I'm going to climb and I want that. mom. <laughs> All right. So remember, friends, <laughs> pull things that have drips on them out of the oven before turning them on. Especially since it was like sugar. It was literally sugar. Oh, yeah. my God. Right? Like, oops. Let's see. We'll see. It's fine. So now we're just waiting on preheat. Is that what's we're waiting on preheat? And uh, and it should be theoretically. Oh, you turn it on? Did I turn what on? The oven. Well, yes. You see the number? Oh, okay, yeah. And considering the sugar was burning. Oh, and it just. Oh, yeah, true. It just said hello. Okay. While I'm here, yeah. I will. Thing. Just the thing. Eh? I'm going to attempt to insert the thickest part of the thigh, which is supposedly what you're supposed to do. A thermometer? Not helpful. <laughs> it will be. All right. Well, we'll see. We'll figure it out. Once this goes into the oven, guys, we'll probably go ahead and cut stream. I'm not going to make you sit here for 45 minutes and jibber-jabber uh, while we wait for this to cook. Unless unless these two have stuff to talk about for 45 minutes. <laughs> well, uh, we can talk about... Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Do we have uh, sourdough to re rehydrate? We do. We do. We can do that. Yep. Yeah. All right, let me wash my Only hands. if you're up I, for it. Uh, Don't feel like you have to, because we can also cut straight. <laughs> yeah, that's... Maybe that's enough. Maybe that's a tomorrow or yeah, later. that's fine. I'm back. Just killing me. Yeah, you're good, you're good. I mean, you could sit and do it by our love to What? Huh? You could sit and one of us could do it. Oh, yeah. Do you want to hear? Do you want to do it? I don't know. Do you want me to do it? Because I, I know this is your gig. Yeah, I don't care that much. <laughs> if you, I mean, let's, you know what? Let's wait and do let's it. Let's wait and do it. Yeah. Yeah. We're not worried about it. All it's right. It's dry. It's like an Indian dryer. Yeah. So, the turkey is in. How's the pie doing? Full to the touch. Full to the touch, at least. The top part. A little, still a little warm on the bottom. Okay. Yeah. I was a little say. too much butter, I think. Oh. But it does have a little bit of a crack. Okay. You know what? Time to freak 
do be smelling cinnamony. See, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know when it's done or not. That's not my bad. <laughs> Yeah, I think it may have called for a little too much butter. Needed a little less. A little less butter. Time. So next time I would do less butter. Okay. All right. I think it's gonna be okay. I was gonna say, you just superheated it again. Yeah. Um, let me, here's this. I'm going to just bring the camera, Um. maybe not. I was going to try to bring it closer to show off what we have done. But now you've superheated it again. Wait a minute. Where are my oven mitts? I don't know what you did with them. Ah. They got thrown on the step stool in the kerfluffle. Ah. Kerfluffle. Why? Yeah. <laughs> I just, it caught my attention. There it goes. All right. Just very careful. Please don't burn yourself. So there, uh, back up that way with it towards the cabinet. There you go. There is the eggnog brulee. Like I said, I think a little too much butter was called for on top. Yeah. Well, I've been learning. Yeah. And we made a very different pie crust to what they yeah. suggested. Because so. I wasn't going to get a frozen pie crust if I'm going to take the time to make the we don't do pre-made. You know, if I were using Cool Whip as a base, then I might, but I wouldn't use Cool Whip as a base. I was going to say, you don't use Cool Whip. <laughs> yeah. Well, an issue there. All right, so we are done with both of the projects for today. Uh, once the turkey is out in 45 minutes, then it'll be good to go. Um... I am out of trivia, unless I find more. You're out of trivia. You guys want me to find more trivia? I can find more cooking trivia. Sure, find more cooking trivia. All right, hold on. Actually, let me do this on the iPad where I can read it better. We were doing baking, more baking trivia. They might not be able to quite hear you over here, but that's okay. You can holler and I will answer. You can wander this direction. You can grab a rolling chair and... Oh, okay. Come sit in the nice breeze oh, kitchen. And a 90 second ad just started. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Let me get this up and going. Let me see what I can find. Trivia, trivia, trivia. I was working on other things that cannot be talked about on stream currently. Because they are Kickstarter and uh, other uh -huh. subscription based information. Um, subscribe to the Ko fi if you haven't, because I'm going to be putting more information there. Woo! <gasps> distracted by cute fan art. Sorry. <laughs> Baking trees. Duh, yeah. Okay, so I already did that one. It'll connect. Um, that's the same one. Okay, let me get a different one here. Why is there four of the same one with just different pictures? Here, we'll go with this one. Can I have this? Thank you. Okay. Let's see what we have here. No, I, I don't really want you to put cookies on my iPad. Thank you. Okay. I went baking mode and said, what do you mean you don't want cookies? Oh, wait, no, never mind. Wrong, Wrong kind of cookies. I can't even pronounce this to ask you the question. Oh, go for it. No, like, it's how do you pronounce? <laughs> that word. Well, let me see the word. We've, we've, we've talked about this. Yes. Shoo. So it's Chew pastry. Yeah. Okay. Mm. They, we already know that bagels are boiled a bit before they're baked. Yes. Oh, I love that. Yeah, right? A baguette is sometimes called a what? 
A German log, a Spanish branch, an English baton, or a French stick? A French stick. Apparently correct. <laughs> what is a baker's dozen? Before you answer, 12, 13, 11, or a type of cake? It's 13. <laughs> I didn't need them. No, I know, but I just love that they put a type of cake at the end of that. Like, no. I'm not even asking you that question because it'll start a debate. <laughs> what? It was, what kind of cake is this? It's red velvet. I'm not asking, Matt. <laughs> Which of these is not a type of bread? Rice bread, banana bread, potato bread, or noodle bread? Is that right? I don't know. <laughs> it turned yellow. What does yellow mean? I'm not sure. I think it tells us at the end. Which royal gave their name to a type of sponge cake? Victoria. Okay. <laughs> totally. This is a sponsored question. No, I'm not answering this. <laughs> By the way, red velvet is a wannabe buttercream cake or a wannabe chocolate cake. It is neither or both. <laughs> Which one of these breads is baked inside a big round oven called a tandoor? Crumpets, rye bread, naan bread, or tiger bread? Naan. With the picture on this one is somebody looking into like, <laughs> like a, uh, what's the word? Bird, bird, bird. Oh, the bird is the word. <laughs> Microscope. Microscope. Thank you. I was trying to say telescope. I'm like, that's wrong. And she's just going, oh, look, yeast. <laughs> um, here's a tricky one. Yeast is the stuff in bread that makes it rise and go fluffy. But what is it? A type of fungus, germs, a tiny animal, or magic? <laughs> like electricity? <laughs> like electricity. <laughs> yeah. Mushroom. Looks like it's a fungus. Hot cross buns are actually cakes. True or false? Uh, I'm going to say yes. True? I'm going to say no because why not? Can't answer both. <laughs> we'll see what it is at the end. What is a soggy bottom? Is it when the bottom of a cake or pastry gets too wet? When you fall over into a puddle? When you put too much filling in a pie or a heavy metal band? It's when the bottom of the cake, uh, the pie gets wet. Where does fo focaccia? Focaccia. Focaccia? Where does it come from? France, Italian. Wales, Italy, or somewhere really posh? Italy. <laughs> These answers. Somewhere really posh. <laughs> a tart is like a pie, but it speaks Portuguese. <laughs> it has no lid. It's half the price, or it's filled with bread. It has no lid. Which of these is not a type of pastry? Filo, puff, flaky, or giant? I'm gonna go giant. <laughs> yeah, what kind of fruit do you put in a traditional fruit cake? Raisins, dried apricots, and cherries? Apples, raisins, and bananas, mango, raspberry, acorns, or raisins, figs, and peaches. Um, what was the second one? Apples, raisins, bananas. No, that's, that's the third, the wasn't it? That's the second one. Oh, what's the first one? Raisins, dried apricots, and cherries. Yes, it's the first one. Okay. No. We got 13 out of 15. So, now it tells me what's correct and what's not. Here we go. Um, okay, so it was chew pastry. Of course, the bagels are baked. French stick for baguette is correct. None. It goes in the trash. What? Hello, Ace! We made, um, if you see the pie right there, it's a eggnog, eggnog brulee. brulee pie. I think is what the recipe calls it. And then we have a spatchcocked turkey in the oven right now. We're doing baking trivia. <laughs> Um, but we just answered a really weird one. Baker's Dozen, of course, is 13. Red Velvet Cake. Noodle Bread is not bread. Noodle Bread is not bread. All right. 
Um, Victoria was correct. Non bread correct. Fungus correct. Hot cross buns are not cake. They are not cake. Okay. Fruit cake goes in the trash. It's traditional. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. Soggy bottom, in fact, was when the bottom of a cake or pastry gets too wet. Ta da! Italy was correct for the focaccia. focaccia. Um, tart is like pie, but it has no lid. Giant is also not a type of pastry. No, but we said that. Yeah, that was okay. our answer. So we, we got 13 out of 15. Hi. Right. That'd be worse. They changed your dino dance emote, which you... Yeah, I noticed that they changed, and I, I'm i not sure what they did. There is literally only, apparently, two quizzes about baking. Huh. Which is a lie, let's be real. Oh, here's a chocolate one. Okay. So, 40... I think it's a 40... Excuse me, I just hit my microphone. 40 chocolate trivia questions and answers for people who love chocolate. All right, let's. Do we want to wait for Zaf? Um, it's gonna be a minute. That's his mom <laughs> talking about her poor bush. Yeah. So we will. We'll find another one for. We'll find a red one. Okay. Okay. So, what's another one of these? Or you have to like go to the table of. Oh, you hit it here. <clears throat> Hi, puppy. Yeah. Okay. What type of beans are used to make chocolate? Cacao. Yeah. <laughs> what was the first European country to incorporate chocolate into its cuisine? We just watched a video on this. England. Nope. No. What was? Spain. Spain, because England got it from Spain. That's right. They were eating, or they were drinking it yep, with yep. spicy stuff in it. We did just watch it. Which French actress portrayed Vivienne Rocher in the 2001 movie Chocolat? <laughs> also, no ace, not France, Spain. Uh, Columbus brought it back. I don't... Uh, uh, yeah, her... Um, <laughs> yeah, her. Um, 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 wasn't it the same Spain woman who played curve, yeah. Bellatrix? Helena Bonham Carter? No. No. Juliette Binoche? Eh. Mm. Which chocolate bar can you eat fried in Scotland? Cadbury. No. No. Let's see if chat gets it real quick. I want to see how bad the lag is. Chat, do you know which chocolate bar you can eat fried in Scotland? Because Ace is trying to answer him, so I want to give Ace a chance. You said you said Cadbury, right? Yeah. It's not Cadbury. I wonder if it's an American one. And if it is, I don't. I know you can get this one here. But I don't think it's considered an American chocolate bar. Okay, well that doesn't narrow it down for me much. I don't think Ace is guessing. All right. So the answer is Mars bar. Okay. Mars bars. Yeah, Mars bars. They can apparently be gotten fried in Scotland. They fry everything. <laughs> much like Americans. But that's <clears throat> <laughs> if you guys don't know the answer to this one, I'm going to be upset. Which author wrote Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? <laughs> I was going to say Willy Wonka. No, it's, um, <laughs> it's, um, yeah, it's, it's Roald Dahl. Yeah, Roald Dahl. I never can pronounce his name right. Um, which British chocolatier created Cadbury Cream Egg? Yes. We're still up. Um, Careful. Breath. Bob Cadbury. Careful, but... Yeah. Okay. It's not, not Bob Cadbury. Uh, it's a one-word answer, surprisingly enough. Chris, though. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> not Chris, though. I don't know. Fry? I still don't know. I have no clue. Who... What was it, Cadbury egg? Yeah, the crab Cadbury cream, cream egg. egg, yeah. The British chocolatier who created it. Apparently his name is Fry. 
Um, then we have who do the Oompa Loompas work for? <laughs> Willy Wonka. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I, okay, so I don't know either of these items, but which one was launched first, Twirl or Curly Whirly? Twirl. Curly Whirly. Yeah. Curly Whirly. Okay. I have, I guess. No, I, I've never I'm, heard of it. Nope. Um, how many colors can the mini eggs be from Cadbury? We should ask my mom. Your mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's a million of them. Yeah. Uh, pink, blue. Five? Care to gander, I guess? No? Four. Four. Okay. So fries, a person. It's, it's a store. store. Is it? Okay. Okay. I wasn't too sure. I was thinking that, but. J.S. Fry and Son. Oh, okay. What were Smarties originally called? And I bet we're talking about UK Smarties and not American Smarties. You think? Because in America, Smarties are not chocolate. They wouldn't be in a chocolate quiz. Right. So it would definitely be what were the British Smarties called originally? Oh, I should know that one. Probably heard of it. I, or my mother probably talked about it. Yeah. Or my cousins. Or, I don't know, Emma! Um, buttons. I don't know. <laughs> what were they called? Chocolate beans. Chocolate beans. Okay. <laughs> I know it's very British. With, I know it started with a B. Uh, which country are Tim Tams a popular chocolate biscuit? Tim Tams. Isn't that India? Sure. I want to say India. Australia. Australia. Ooh. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Who founded Cadbury? Price? <laughs> no. The Cadbury family? <laughs> John Cadbury. What a generic name. He's just like, John Cadbury. Which country was the Kit Kat invented? I'm going to default with U.S. also. The United Kingdom. Really? Apparently Kit Kats were invented okay. in the UK. Um, w in which chocolate box can you find the Milky Way? In which chocolate box? That's what it says. Can you find the Milky Way? Yeah. Oh. Junior says I riot at the Smarties question and everyone just got caught up with Australia. Huh. So the delay is awful. Oh man. Hold on guys, we're gonna restart stream here. No, it's probably because there's a diff like, I don't know. Anybody who wants to send me any uh, UK Smarties, please feel free. <laughs> I have somebody who could do that actually. <laughs> My cousin keeps going that she's going to, but no. Oh, Junior says there's two answers. Okay. That's why he writes at the Smarties question. And we're, you were on something today. Yeah, lag. Is, is it better now? I stopped and restarted stream. Is it better now? Because holy wow, the lag. I cannot wait an entire minute for chat to be able to answer. Like, that sucks. Is it better? Is it worse? Tell me when you can see Zaf opening the oven. <laughs> no, close it now. Water in it. That's fine. Or I'm just trying to ask chat how long it takes before they see you actually open the oven. Still ongoing. A mug warmer to keep butter. That liquid. is literally what I said. That is what you said. Like two hours ago. And A I solid could... minute or two delay? Holy butts, Batman! Alright, hold on. Hold on. Why? Oh. 